Hi everyone, um, I just wanted to welcome you all to our first Training Strings video blog. Um, you will be receiving this every week, um, and if I miss a week, uh, it won't matter, but we'll be getting one each week at least um, for you to watch and practice along with me um, for your practice parts, and also just to talk about what's coming up in the next couple of weeks. So first of all, I wanted to welcome you all to our training strings. It was really nice to see everyone there on time. So thank you parents for getting your kids there on time this morning. Um, it was really nice meeting you all. If you aren't already a student of mine or I haven't met you through some of your siblings, but it was really cool to meet everybody this morning. Um, everyone was beautifully behaved. We had a really good morning uh, for strings. Um, I wanted to first talk about uh, a couple of things as we get used to this training strings. If you felt a little lost this morning, maybe it was keeping up with rhythms or reading through your music, don't stress. Uh, we're supposed to kind of start this nice and slow and you'll get used to it every week. So the piece that I handed out this morning was Twinkle Little Star and you can take this music to your teacher and they will help you through your practice parts. Okay, so we're going to do this piece by piece. Um, I will also be doing some practice videos for you to play along with me. Uh, for everyone that includes those who did the open string parts those who did the fingers parts and for the cellos as well I'll be playing my cello you can see in the background there there's my cello um, okay also uh, we'll talk a little bit about what's expected of our group um, and also for the parents what you can do at home to help your kids all right let's get into hey, this first of all I handed out this this morning it is uh, a information sheet of all of the notes for your violins and cellos, okay? So up the top here, we've got our names of notes. Up the top is the violins, and down the bottom here are the cellos. Um, and we talked a little bit about this this morning with the kids, and I think it's something that you should all be kind of trying to learn by memory. Even if you can't play all of these notes, that's okay. I want you to be able to start recognizing your names of notes. Uh, here in the middle are where all of your open strings are. So for the violins are up the top here and your cellos are down the bottom here as well. Okay, so these open strings are quite important for you to recognize as well because we're going to be playing these especially in training strings. Um, also here are some note values. Okay, so you've got your semi breeze which are our long notes, our minims um, which go for two beats, Crotchets go for one, and one of these little guys, these quavers here, are our quarter beats, okay, or our half of a crotchet beat. But I'm not expecting you to understand these quite yet. We'll be going through them in our practice time. And also, you can always take these to your teachers and talk about them with those, um, talk about these with your teachers as well. But we'll be talking a lot about them in training strings too. And down the bottom here, is a G major scale. Now, for all of you um, who have started learning fingers, this is something I will be introducing to my students quite soon. However, it's not expected of everyone. If you're still on open strings, great, that doesn't matter. That's all up to your teacher. So what I really want the kids to do this week is see if they can memorize uh, their names and notes. So I use this little rhyme here for violins. Every good boy or ballerina deserves fruit. And for the cellos, good birds don't fly away. And for the spaces here, um, for the violins, it spells out the word face. And for cellos, uh, all cows eat grass. So this is something you guys can practice together. You can drill your parents. You can stick it up on a wall somewhere. I actually really like this to stay in their music folders if they can. And we can use these in our ensemble time. So this is a really useful sheet. It's really good for the kids. They might already know this. But for parents as well, this is going to be really helpful to you. So I want you to all keep this. Um, secondly, we also went through Twinkle Little Star. Okay, everyone knows this song. It is the song to the alphabet. It is also the same um, melody as Baba Ba Black Sheep. Okay, so we all know this song really, really well. Um, I've got here the violin part, and this is with the fingers. So I will be playing this for my students or those who decided they wanted to give the finger part a go today. I've also got... Let me just get this out. 
I have also got uh, the cello part, which I handed out today. And these are all the open strings, okay? So no cellos have got finger parts. Um, I think it might have been Jude who I gave a finger part to, and I'd like him even to take that to his teacher. But for my other cello, Orlando, he's going to be doing the open strings, which is really important for my other violins. Uh, I've also got here, where is it? Here we go. Here is my violin part for those who didn't want to play any fingers today and just wanted to the open strings. So this is also going to be really important for them too. And I will be doing a practice buddy video for this one, the one with the fingers and for the cellos too. So parents, chuck it on for them to play along with. Um, it's really just to help encourage them to practice and not feel so alone in their practice time that they can listen to me and they can try and play along with me at the same time or even just listen to me and follow along in their music. Step by step, they will get used to this each week. So I like to do this a lot. Um, okay, now let's talk about Desky Rewards. This is a really um, cool uh, initiative that I've taken for my other ensemble, my intermediate strings. And I found that it's been a really good way for kids, for you guys, um, to really work and put the best effort in for our ensemble time. And it's really paid off for my intermediate kids. They work really hard. They support each other a lot. And they just know, you know, how to behave in an ensemble. Now, there is a couple of you. There's about 13 of you in my group, um, which is, you know, a normal size group. However, if one of us starts to talk, it's going to want to encourage the others to talk as well. And that's when we get a little sidetracked and that's when we don't get all our work done. So I've started some desky rewards, which will be starting up next week. And those Desky Rewards will be given out to students who listen, who watch, who practice, who support those around them. If they're struggling, you might see that your friend next to you uh, doesn't know where you are in the music or they don't know what string to play on. And you can maybe go, hey, we're on the D or we're on the A or we're up to this part. I really want kids to support each other in these groups because that's what makes ensembles so much more fun is when we've got our friends around us and everyone's there to help each other. So desky rewards um, are something I like to give out to students each week, those who are really making a great effort. And at the end of the turn, if you've completed all of your desky rewards, you will receive a special reward. So I've given my intermediate strings uh, their desky rewards at the end of last term. They include pencils, rubbers, silly unicorn puppets, um, oh god, squishies, you name it, I had it. So it's a really fun kind of way to get you guys practicing and working hard in ensemble. So uh, let's really make a good effort with that. Okay, next up, you're going to meet someone really special to me. Um, she makes a appearance in all of my videos and she likes to ask very important questions. So let's welcome Miss Kitty. Here she is. Yes, I've heard that rats are very tasty and I would probably eat about, hmm, I don't know, maybe two. Miss Kitty. Oh, hello, children. Yeah, hi, Miss Kitty. Um, What are you talking to Ray Rapper about? Oh, we're just talking about how much we love eating rats. Yeah, that's disgusting. No, they're not. They're delicious. I don't make fun of your food. Well, Miss Kitty, um, it's a pretty important day right now because my training strings just started. Oh, excellent. Do you think you could maybe come and do an interview for them? Okay, I'd love to. All right, let's go. Hello, children. My name is Miss Kitty, and I am here to answer and help you with all of your questions you may have in Ensemble. I also like to ask you some questions. Now, I play the viola in my special cat ensemble. Yes, that's right. I have a cat ensemble. You may think that's silly, but we're actually very good. Now, children, I have some questions for you this week to answer, and you can tell Miss Monique about, Miss Monique about it next week. <clears throat> Miss Monique, yes? Could you please pass the music? Oh, sure. <clears throat> oh, it's upside down. Oh, sorry. Okay, children, my question is, what is this, this little squiggly guy right here? Hmm, what is its name? Now, violins, you should know what it's called. Now, cellos. Mm. Uh, Miss Minnie, could you get the cello part? Oh, sure. Hurry up. I'm coming. Okay, cellos. I need to know what this little half circle thingy is. Hmm, 
I don't know what they're called. Maybe you could find out for me and answer for me next week. Yes, that's right. You must answer my questions. Okay, children. Um, I'm going to go eat a rat. Don't eat a rat. Why not? They're disgusting. Eat some cat food I put in your bowl. Okay, I'm going to go get a snack. Bye, children. Wow, she could have pressed stop. Okay, bye, kids. See you next week.